Let's talk about that hidden ROM this one more time. Um, I think it keeps coming up because the constructions all in this early part all are generated with this concept of, of uh, a rhombus hiding in the background. It's actually the properties that are hiding in the background that make this all work. And so that's why we keep bringing it up. So if we, uh, if we take our compass and um, create an arc, let me uh, just let me bring this uh, size wise down just a little bit. Let's create our arc. I'm going to do the whole thing this time just to get a, a sense of its size. If now one thing I guess I want to say about that arc is every point along this arc is equidistant to this point. So all those radii are equal. Now I've kept my compass the same physical measurement. And so when I make this arc, um, I get a couple of important things. All points on this arc are equidistant here, but at that moment right there, we are the same distance from both sides. And uh, it creates uh, that little rhombus that we keep talking about. If, let me grab the segment tool. So if I go uh, to here, uh, what happens is I have a radius. And uh, if I go from here, I get also a radius because they are centered here and on the arc here. Those are equidistant. Now, because I didn't change my compass, I can go over to this point and say that radius is also equal to the other two because they, uh, they use the same compass measurement. And likewise, here I get a fourth one. This forms a four-sided equilateral uh, quadrilateral. Ooh, that sounded cool. Um, and that's called the rhombus. Now, the other thing, I guess, I'm going to put in the other diagonal just so you can see the diagonals there. But the diagonals of the shape here are um, really what's important. Um, maybe we use this construction for a perpendicular. You can do that. The reason you can do that is because the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. If you want that to be the midpoint, if you wanted to have created the midpoint, that also can be a property of the rhombus. The diagonals bisect each other, it means cut them in half. And so they have equal pieces on their diagonal parts. These are equal and these are equal. Both of those construction items, perpendiculars, uh, uh, midpoints, things like that, are the th kinds of things that you and I have been constructing and creating. And so the rhombus, there it is, hidden once again.